ヒーロー D シリーズ D シリーズディスティニーデストロイデス D タイム D タイム<笑>デスティニーヒーローマイク and welcome back to D time live duels Michael Bowden I'm your host really appreciate you guys for tuning in This is Destiny Hero versus Marin Cess. Now, I haven't gone against this deck.、Uh, it's, it's been a good couple formats since I've gone against this match. Yeah, it's been a hot while, and it looks like I believe I may have won the die roll here, which actually was probably my only die roll win. And、uh, excuse the camera angle, it's not as good as it should be.、Uh, a lot of moving around, but that's okay. We pop off with A Hero Lives, Stratos, and they go Effect Veiler. To negate the straddles. I don't have a mass change this time around.、Uh, oh, that's what I do. No, no, no. I keep my mass change because I'm not sure what I'm going against. So I tribute the straddles to normal summon for Ferris. And then Ferris because it activates on normal summon, by the way. So if you're faced off with like an Ibli or an opponent's Ibli, you can tribute it to normal summon、uh, your Ferris to place, then place your.、Uh, it's a pretty good hard counter. Then we continue with the rest of our Vision Hero play, increase into, you know, into the Vion. Vion dumps the Shadow Mist, and Shadow Mist gets Liquid Soldier as well as Palmerization. So, then we're just looking at our hand. I think we did have a mass change, though. We're just going to Palmerization right here between、uh, Liquid Soldier and the、uh, increase. Vision Hero Increase. Yeah, I did have a mass change, but I didn't use it. Because something, I don't know why. I just I just decided to keep my mass change because I wanted to keep it for a potential Dark Wall. That's why. I wanted a Dark Wall option. However, though, I will admit I did not know the matchup. Anywho, we bring out the Sunrise and we get our Miracle, we get our miracle Fusion as well as our Draw 2 and Discard 1. We discard. Let's see. We can see the graveyard on full display here, and we get rid of our dead、uh, Vion here that we didn't need. Wait. No, we had two mass changes, so it had to have been. Then we Fusion Destiny. We have Fusion Destiny anyway, which feels great. So, yeah, we're just going to bring out. Let's see here. For summoning, I think I'm still deciding on. Yeah, it's me, it's me, DPE. We're gonna bring them out in attack mode. We're feeling. Yeah, then we set. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yep, because that's the. Yeah, because we're gonna. We set a mass change and then that's gonna target the.、Uh, the extra defense position Vine over there. So now we have DPE plus Sunrise plus Dark Law. And we need to know what they're on. So we need to see what they're playing. So they're going to sign up mining. And then we just chain mass change to their、uh, search. They, dis they have to discard a Veiler. So they probably drew that for turn. Then we're just mass change. And then we bring our Dark Law. And now that just puts them in trouble. So. Okay. And at this point, they're just kind of pooped. And yeah, really briefly and respectfully, they uh, scoop uh, game one. So,、uh, with that first game out of the way, really briefly, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate you guys. We do weekly hero content mainly. That's what we do here. We, dabble, we try to dabble in other things, but we really specialize in heroes exclusively. Also, go to dtimeexclusives.com, get your all, all sorts of different、uh, goodies. We got t shirts, hoodies, playmats, all that. Go check us out at dtimeexclusives.com. And I don't promote my. We, we don't promote our, our Discord enough. Please check out our Discord. It is live there. We've got almost 400 members there. It is live, all hero love and non hero stuff. It's just a, a great Yu Gi Oh! server.、Uh, free to join, it's not behind any kind of paywall. Uh, until I probably start doing some sort of 101 coaching lessons or something like that. That's something that you guys would like. I do coaching sessions or something like that. 
some sort of Patreonist kind of thing. I don't know. Let me know. Some sort of uh, you know paid service to help support the channel. Let me know if that's what you guys want me to do. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the next game. All right, so we are into game number two, and they will be taken first. And this one was a really strong game. Uh, yeah, they had actually, it, it feels like they bricked. That's what it looks like. And so I'm thinking, okay, obviously they probably have an Ibiru. That's my first thought, but we're still going to just try to push through because that's how good heroes are. Because if they Nibiru, that would force them to be in main phase. So we hero lives into Stratos. And then we, again, <laughs> so wonky, bro. We get the Vion, and we normal summon Vion because I think we hard drew. Oh, then he's going to call by the grave, which hurts us. We hard drew that we had to have hard drawn. We had to have hard drawn the increase in order for that. That's the only explanation for that. For that line of play. So, and then now we're faced with nothing but a Nibiru. But look, we already have the Palmerization. And then we're going to go chain link one, two. Get our miracle. And uh, we don't draw two, actually. So, yeah. That kind of hurt us. Then we're just going to go miracle fusion. And we're gonna bring out Escarito, so Dark and our hero, or E hero. And we're just gonna attack, attack. We don't have a mass change, guys. And where I misplayed, here's where I misplayed. I should have just hero lived into uh, the knowing that it's a Marin says matchup. Should have just hero lived into the Shadow Miss and gotten mass change. That's where I made a misplay, especially if I know. How do we spread the duster? We set two in perm, got a little greedy. We did play around the Nibiru though, as you guys can see. But I have no way to stop it here and there. From there, from here on out, it's just downhill. We don't have any real advantage. We have a yeah, we have an Ash Blossom, hoping that would be enough to stop them. But I think they have more gas to keep pushing. So excuse me, it's late night. So I'm kind of like low-key yawning over here. It's late night. I'm a bit tired. I'm, behind, I'm very behind on this video, so it will be up first thing in the morning. Soon, uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, so. But yeah, I can't believe we're our, man. Marin says 2023, still a good deck. Still, still a very viable, viable and uh, affordable deck. So, if there's something that you're in a market for. Uh, definitely uh, give Marin, Marin says a try. Now you're gonna struggle against something like uh, Castillo since they banish. As well as hero because of the dark law, but outside of those two matches, all you need to do is have the answer for those decks, and then you should be able to have fun with Marin says. So I still think it's a strong deck, personally. Not the best matchup against hero, but it's a strong. He had everything. He had the tactics here, and looks like he's gonna just attack. Yeah, and that yeah, pretty much hurts. And really, actually, um. Another misplay here. They were not the same attack power. The uh, Sunrise actually, I, I, I don't know why I didn't catch this. Sunrise actually destroys my Escarita and I get, you know, my Sunrise back. I'm supposed to get my Sunrise back the next turn. So that's my fault for not catching that because uh, the Sunrise um, counts all attributes, not just hero. So he still was still stronger than my Escarita. I don't know why I... Just moving too fast, uh, or, or allowing the opponent to move too fast, so... And then from there, that just pretty much... It's just snowball from here. So, you know, you see they're getting their engine off and whatnot. We don't have much of a way to stop it. Uh, that would have probably changed... Now, he probably still would have... I don't know his extra deck. He probably still could have linked it off in main phase 2. Who knows? But all he had... It all, all, But we see that all he had was a, a crash play. So... Yeah, but we know he has a new beer in hand, so I don't... Well, I guess the point is just not to allow myself <laughs> to get cheated like that again. Just moving too fast. I make mistakes here, guys, so, you know, I try to catch them as best I can, but I do make mistakes and misplays, so uh, bear with me. But yeah, he's got the engine rolling. It's just a lot of link climbing. Oh, not link. Yeah, it's a lot of link climbing. 
all right it's just water salad <laughs> it's, it's water salad and grates that's really all it is <laughs> you know link up link up link up one links one link one two three links it's all it does and it recurs uh, the links back to the spell and trap card zone as you guys can see very simple you see that very very easy to learn this deck the Marin says so then they go to attack and I think I'm then I go to oh yeah Nibiru they try to go for game but then I Nibiru see that so we don't scoop so quick we don't scoop so easily but then I think they still have more like follow-up so uh, yeah I'm just hoping for like man can I see like a fusion destiny can I, I if I get a DPE at this point then it's over right so I'm just seeing at this point we Nibiru just to see what we draw uh, he got rid of so much of his he ran through so much of his extra deck so I'm like man what does this dude have left dude Ugh. but you know he's still able to keep going so and uh, yeah they summon that in defense to protect their life I think like 26 defense so yeah, they activate the spell card to summon from the deck, I think. And then, yeah, we summon the decider. Yeah, because the decider got returned to hand. Now, unfortunately, Nibiru is not a hero, so I can't link off. I didn't draw anything. So it's been a really kind of a weird hand. But to be fair, I did misplay. I misplayed not bringing out Shadow Mist. So. You know, I always try to tell myself to slow down after the fact when I review these replays. But, you know, when you're actually in game and then, or, or you know, in game, it's a completely different experience. You see how he's using the blue tang and all that stuff. So he's milling and yeah. But it's a completely different thing to be in gameplay and watch watch someone playing, right? Two different things. Two, two completely different things. So that's one thing, you know, when people be like, hey, you should have did X, Y, Z, that, and the other. Yeah, sure, but, you know, being in the driver's seat and being the backseat driver, there it is. Two different things. But yeah, we lose. I mean, uh, this, this round it looks like, you know, because it's not to spoil anything, but you know, he still has more stuff, more gas out of engine. Now, that Nibiru was good. That Nibiru was really good. It was really solid, but... From here, we're not able to push through. So I think I, for time's sake, I do end up conceding here, I believe. So. But I'm just, I just wanna see him finish through. And I'm just checking my graveyard, all that. And then go to attack, the decider. Yeah, I just scoop. Yeah, so let's real briefly get into the third and final game. And here we are into the third and final game. And at this point, we know what to do. We just hero lives. I think I already drew the mass change because I go for straddle, so I already have the mass change, I believe. So actually, I don't. I make the same misplay again. No, I hard you into it. He didn't have any hand traps. Then we send. I, I might have it. Hold on. No, I might have it. No lie. I might already have it. But you guys see, we you know we do the uh, Vision Hero Ferris going into the Vision Hero line, and we're sending the uh, Shadow Mist, and then we're bringing out our increase the spell trap card zone. And we special summon. Then he's going to. Ash, this is a really good Ash. He ashes the increase. Very good Ash. And now I have to figure something out here. Which actually he had to Ash regardless. So now he's like, okay, does this guy have the mass change or not? Right? And I'm just trying to see what my play is here. What's happening. And all that. Then we just normal summon our Stratos. And guess what? I think we hard drew the polymerization, which, you know, that we do, uh, that's insane. If we just hard drew the poly again. So then we get the, we get a, a 
Vion. I guess that's for follow up because we want polymerization. No, we didn't get it. So, but it looks like yeah, that's a mass change there. Set that's a mass change, and we know that Dark Law really hurts his deck. And we're like, yeah, that's fine. Then they activate that card, and then they. I think it's a foolish burial. Then we're just gonna go ahead and wait. Is it? Or it does a special summon? It's an E teleport. That's right. It's an E teleport. So we let that go. We don't chain anything because we want him to bring out the one that he wants to bring out, right? So and then we're gonna act like we didn't have it. Now we're gonna flip it over before he links. So wrong one. There's the dark law, and yeah. Now he has to play through that, and if he activates any search spell cards, yeah, because the blue tang then uh, banishes from the deck. If you activate any type of spell card that, that searches or draw, we will not use the uh, dark law so that we don't run into a, a trigger, a talent, a, a triple tactic talent, which is a super good card this format. Get yourselves a play set if you can. I know I got mine, they're about 20 each on average for the ultra rares, so, and here we're, he's in trouble, right, I mean, he already has a card on, on the field, you know, it's, unless he has something like a Dark Ruler No More, he's in trouble, then he's gonna link those two away, I mean, the engine, a lot of his engine is gone, he's gonna bring her out, and then the thing is only 2,000 attack, so he runs over the 18 defense uh, Ferris, and from here it should be over. Then we just normal summon our follow-up card. Then they affect Valor. They actually can't under Dark Law. I didn't catch it. They cannot do that because Fake Valor has to go to the graveyard. I'm a little... I, I don't know what's going on. I'm way off my game, guys. I am way off my game. Uh, yeah, you can't affect Valor under Dark Law because uh, Fake Valor has to go to the graveyard. So... But we just attack, attack, attack. We, we totally missed that. I don't know what's going on. I'm off my game, bro. Dude, there's a YCS coming up and I'm like goofing off like this. <laughs> like, uh, it happens, but come on, can't be doing this, man. <laughs> can't be doing this. But then we link those two off, play around the Nibiru, and they scoop. Fortunately, for we lucked out. We misplayed, we let, we let, two, we let some, some BS slide. But, you know, hey, that's what the point of this replay is, so we can tighten up our game. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. This was a really good one, and see ya.